Buenos días, familia Churchant. ¿Cómo están hoy? ¿Celebraron el Día del Niño? I hope you did. So today we're going to learn the five most important phrases or questions that you can use in your classroom. So we start. Good job. So coming in at number five. Es la frase, you should already know this, hola, buenos días, ¿cómo estás? So remember our first video when you, I, te I taught you how to say hello to somebody in the corridor. So it's very important when you see somebody that you can greet them in Spanish. So remember, let's go back to our first lesson and we say, hola, buenos días, ¿cómo estás? In Spanish, we usually talk in the second person. We usually say you. We don't talk to other people in the third in the third person. So we say, ¿Cómo estás? Shall we say it again? Hola, buenos días, ¿Cómo estás? Now, coming in at number four. Is how do you say when you need help from somebody? So we say, disculpa, me puedes ayudar? Help is usually ayuda. So when you're in danger, when you're in a difficult situation, when you don't know where to go or you're trying to do something and you're very far from reach, so you ask for help. So in Spanish we say, disculpa, me puedes ayudar? Remember the sound R in Spanish, it's very different from, from English, like we said last time. And you can practice, and it's R, R. So, ayudar has that sound. So, one more time, we say, disculpa, me puedes ayudar? Now, coming in at number three. It's... How can you just say to somebody that they're going to have a great day? You don't, you've already seen them or you don't really want to say hi, I just want to say something nice to them. So we say, bonito día. We say, bonito, bonito means pretty, día. Día, it's day, so it's like you have a nice day. So one more time, how do we say it in Spanish? We say, bonito día. Bonito día. Now coming in at number two. most recurrent questions I get in my classroom is can I have a sip of water? I know we all drink water and sometimes our bottles are far away from us so we need to ask for them. I actually need a drink now. So when you want to ask your teacher or your TA for a sip of water you can always ask them in Spanish. And how do you say this? We say Maestra, ¿puedo tomar agua? So one more time, we say maestra, which is a teacher. So we say maestra, if it's a woman, maestro, if it's a man, maestra, maestro, puedo tomar agua? One more time, maestra, maestro, puedo tomar agua? And coming in at number one. the most frequently asked question in my classroom and I think maybe in yours too. Does everybody know what it is? Drum roll please. May I go to the toilet? Yes. So we all know you're not supposed to go to the toilet during lessons but yet somehow it happens and it's okay sometimes. So. How can we ask that in Spanish? We say, Maestra, maestro, puedo ir al baño. So, one more time. Maestra, maestro, puedo ir al baño. So, toilet is baño. Sometimes we may say, inodoro, but it's not very frequent. It does exist and it's alright to say it but we don't use it that often, especially in Mexico. 
Let's go. So one more time. Go. We say, Maestra, Maestro, puedo ir al baño. So that's it for today. So those are the five most important phrases or questions you can use at church end. I will see you and next time. Hasta la próxima. Adiós. Bonito día.